Are you panicking about how the impending recession is going to affect your business? Are you thinking that you might need to batten down the hatches, come up with a whole new product range, pivot the business or do something dramatically different? Because at this point, I can tell you that you absolutely don't need to do that right now. What I'm seeing at the moment is lots of articles, lots of discussion, lots of advice about how to survive the recession, but it's leading to quite a lot of panic. And panic, no matter what state the economy is in, panic is never a good business strategy. But also at this point in time, very few businesses are currently being impacted by the recession, but more are being impacted by the fear of a recession. And that fear itself can actually become all consuming. So what I want to share with you today are some ideas on what you can do to be ready. So I'm not suggesting we can just ignore the recession, shove your head in your sand, pretend it's not happening and it will all go away. Maybe it will. Um, but it's also not a great strategy to just pretend that this might never happen. So it's a perfect strategy to have in mind how you will respond and what kind of response you will create if your business is affected. So I wanted to share with you today three, not two things for you to bear in mind at this point in time. Um, now, off at a slight tangent, perhaps, is many years ago, when I studied for my law degree, my dissertation was all about juvenile crime, because this was in the era where there was lots of stuff in the press about juveniles stealing 100 cars a week and, you know, this massive, repetitive juvenile crime. Um, and one thing that I discovered through that dissertation was the power of the media, and it was quite phenomenal. What it actually showed is that there is absolutely unequivoc unequivocal evidence that people who read tabloids at this point in time, people who read the tabloids were 100% convinced that there was far more juvenile crime than people that read the broadsheets, the big papers. Um, but also they believed that the crime was of a far more serious nature. So the media has an enormous impact on the way we think and also on how much fear is involved in our thinking. So that's the first thing I want to say to you today is don't let the media drive your business strategy. Remember that they are there to sell newspapers or to get you to come and watch their channel, but they are absolutely about sensationalising everything. So don't panic about what the media tells you. If anything, don't watch 98% of what the media actually tells you anyway. Um, the other couple of things to think about are thinking about your customers and bearing in mind that through a recession, even through the most serious of recessions, there will be some people that are heavily affected and there will be big pockets of people that are either completely unaffected and of course people who will actually prosper through a recession. So something that you might want to think about is where do your customers sit in that likelihood of potentially being impacted? And if you firmly believe that the majority of your customer base are people or businesses who could be very quickly impacted by a recession, then it may well be that you need to think about your product or your service or your general offering and how you can broaden that out to spread the marketplace that you currently cover to essentially minimise that risk that if your customers are in one very narrow part of the marketplace who could all be affected by a recession, then you really need to look to spread that risk right now. You don't need to panic, you don't need to pivot, but you just need to think about broadening things out that little bit and just building a slightly stronger platform for your business. Um, and the other key thing to think about is the depth of your relationships with your customers. Now, COVID was something that made this incredibly clear. And perhaps the easiest place to look for this was in social media management, um, because I knew several people during COVID who either retained all of their clients or lost all of their clients. And the secret to that from social media managers the secret to that was relationships with clients. For those people who had a really strong, genuine, solid partnership relationship with those clients, where there was real loyalty and trust on both sides, 
those relationships continued through COVID because the customers appreciated the value that that supplier was bringing, but they also appreciated that they were providing value to that supplier as well and helping them to stay in business. So the mutual trust and respect meant that those relationships continued even through a difficult time. Whereas other social media managers who were perhaps a lot more transactional and didn't really base their businesses on relationships were the ones who lost their customers really, really quickly. So three things for you to think about this week if you are starting to worry about the recession is don't let fear drive your strategy and definitely don't let the media drive your strategy. Think about your customer base and whether you need to broaden that slightly or um, add some stability there. Um, and think about the relationships, the depth of relationships you have with your customers and how you can strengthen those things right now to actually help to make sure that those relationships will endure through any difficult times that are coming. Um, I hope that gives you some really juicy food for thought um, and I would love you to share this video with anybody else who you think could do with a bit of down-to-earth recession advice right now.